Hi, I'm Jan Ozer, and I'm happy to bring you this tutorial sponsored by VideoGuys.com on the latest version of Epifan Pearl. Epifan Pearl is an easy to use and affordable streaming appliance that can input, mix, capture, and stream up to four HD sources. In the latest release, Epifan added the simple ability to switch video sources live, making Pearl ideal for non-technical users who still need to produce sophisticated events. Here's the Pearl, which is about the size of a college textbook. This touchscreen on the front allows you to control the unit and provides a confidence monitor. And you can listen in via this headphone jack. I.O. is on the back. You've got two HDSDI and HDMI inputs for audio and video, and two VGA connectors for computer input. And you can capture from any four during a production. You've got two quarter inch left and right audio inputs here, USB inputs for drives and other accessories, and two display port outputs that aren't live yet but will enable big screen preview after a future firmware release. Here's the Ethernet port for connectivity. You configure Perl via its web interface. There are two key concepts to understand, channels and layouts. A channel includes single or multiple sources with specific input configurations and targets for streaming and recording. So you could set up a channel for monthly all-hands meetings from the home office, and another for weekly sales meetings from the field. Once Perl is configured, non-technical users can run the event from the touchscreen, controlling recording and selecting which layout is viewed in the live stream. Within each channel, you can have multiple layouts, which can consist of any single input or mix of inputs plus other elements. For example, this Perl presentation has five layouts. First is camera one, then camera two. Third is PowerPoint input, which shows the VGA coming in from a computer. Fourth is the webinar view, which mixes the camera and VGA input with a blue background. Fifth is the pre-show slide, which I display before switching over to my live inputs. Use these simple resizing and cropping controls to create picture-in-picture -picture layouts like this webinar view. I've configured all layouts to use the same audio source, which is the lavalier input on camera A. For each channel, you can specify streaming options. I'm streaming to Ustream. You can also choose encoding options that I set here, and recording options that I set here. Note that Perl has one terabyte of storage, so you'll have plenty of room for your recordings. Live streaming starts as soon as you choose your channel and input your server credentials. That's why you need the pre-show slide. You start and stop recording via this control, or recording control, on the touchscreen itself. Once you're live, you can switch layouts via the web interface, or using the touchscreen control on the front panel. Or you can switch via Perl's application programming interface. So that's Epifan Perl. You get four simultaneous HD streams at 30 frames per second, recording and live switching, and an interface that even the most non-technical user can operate. For more information about the Epifan Pearl, contact this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com, at 1-800-323-2325. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching. VideoGuys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.